Welcome to the W3 Schools CSS Attribute Selectors tutorial. With CSS, it's possible to apply style to HTML elements that have specific attributes and attribute values. Let's start by selecting elements with a specified attribute. Here, we've selected all A elements, or links, with a target attribute. The attribute selector is specified by square braces around the attribute name. It doesn't need to be accompanied with another selector. So let's remove the element selector. And it still works just fine. To select an element with a specific attribute and value, we can add an equal sign inside the attribute selector and the value you want to select. So let's select all elements with a target attribute and value underscore blank which in this case is this link. We can also select elements with an attribute that has a value containing a specified word. In this example we've selected all elements with a title attribute containing the word flower. It is set by using a tilde character, like this, before the equal sign in the attribute selector. This will match elements with title flower, like this, or if it has the word flower in the title, like this, but it will not match it if it's in the value but has a hyphen character attached to it or it's part of a word like flowers these elements will now not be matched with this selector but we can use the star character to select all elements containing the specified value no matter if it's at the start, the end or inside another word Let's look at how we can select an element with a specified attribute and attribute value beginning with a specified word or character. This example selects all elements with a class attribute and a value beginning with top. It's specified by setting a vertical bar in front of the equal sign in the attribute selector. This will match elements with class equals top or top hyphen text but it will not match the element if top is part of the, a word in the value like top header or one of many words like top space text see these elements are now not matched however you can use another selector to match this you can change the vertical bar to a caret. Now it matches all elements with a class attribute with a value beginning with top no matter what follows it. You can also select an element with a specified attribute and attribute value ending with a specified word or character. Here, we've selected all elements with a class attribute ending with test. It's selected by setting a dollar sign. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's part of a word or has a hyphen or if it's alone. The attribute selectors can be useful for styling forms without class or ID. Like here we set the attribute selector to match input elements with a specified type, type text and type button. So we can change the color or size or whatever we want.
we also have a CSS selector test that demonstrates the different selectors. And this selector test demonstrates all kinds of selector, not just the ones for attribute values. And if you are unsure of how any selector works, you can test it here and you get an explanation for what it selects and you can see how it works. And on our tutorial page we have a link to our CSS selectors reference where we list all the available selectors for CSS. And this concludes our tutorial for CSS attribute selectors. Thank you for watching.